I'm Paul Wolver. I'm the owner of Pinellas Power Products. And this is my extended run fuel kit for generators that run the Ratto 79.7 cc engine. And that would include the Predator 2000, the Power Horse 2000, the Wen 2250, and some other generators like the name of, or the model of it slips my mind right now. Um, however, they all use the same engine, so the fuel kit is an accessory to the engine itself, so they will fit. Um, the first question I get from any customer who calls me seems to be, can I still run off of the stock tank with the fuel kit installed? The answer is yes. You run it just exactly the way you did before you installed my fuel kit. It, it just absolutely everything there stays the same. Uh, if you're going to be running it off of my extended run fuel kit, the procedure is very simple. You take the uh, hose that's included in the kit, and you'll notice that there's an arrow on the prime bulb, and the arrow points in the direction of fuel flow. Then on the quick disconnect fittings, one of the disconnect fittings has an icon of a fuel tank on it, and that connects to the remote fuel tank. The other one has an arrow on it, and that one connects to the generator. Then if the remote tank you're using has a manual vent on it, you would move the manual vent to the open position. On the generator, you would put the fuel tank vent in the closed position. Then to start a cold engine, you would move the fuel selector valve all the way to the choke position. Now this generator has been run a few minutes ago and it's a fairly warm day so I don't think we're going to need choke to start it. We're just going to move it to the run position. The next thing is the Predator and Power Horse has a micro switch that when you turn the fuel selector valve all the way off it kills the engine. On the WEN there is no micro switch there. The kill switch is down here and you would push on the kill switch for a few seconds to shut the engine off. So on the Predator and Power Horse after you get the generator started, you'll slowly move the selector valve to the off position, and when you hear it misfire, you'll turn it back just a slight bit to the on position and keep it running. On the when, you'll just flat turn the fuel selector valve to the off position, and then it'll be running off of the remote tank only. So let's go ahead and do this. First thing I'm going to do is move the fuel selector valve to the on position, and I believe it'll start because it's been run earlier today. If not, we'll have to go ahead and choke it. Okay, so now that the generator is running, we're going to go ahead and move the fuel selector valve to the off position. So now it cannot pull fuel out of the stock tank. It's going to pull all the fuel out of the remote tank. And as I stated earlier, if it was the Predator or the Power Horse, you'd move it slowly to the off position, and when it misfired, you'd turn it back to the on position just slightly. So now to shut the generator off, you push the kill button. If you have uh, any questions about this product at all, if you look below this video in the description section, you'll get a link to my website. Uh, please go to the website, have a look at the description and the product details. There's a uh, installation instruction video, the product demo video, as well as a lot of information in text form. Uh, if you still have any other questions, don't hesitate to give me a call. I thank you for your time.